What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 and I got so much stuff prepared guys. I got literally a whole entire folder with all of the most popular resolutions for PCs and laptops for you guys to straight up apply on your PC. It's so super easy. By the way of course the game user settings for each and every single stretch resolution are already fully optimized for full performance. Afterwards I'm also gonna show you some few extra steps where you can boost your FPS even more on any Windows PC and if you guys enjoyed today's Today's video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to use code wavy dash stripes in the fortnite item shop would help me so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic Yeah guys, for the first part in today's video, please make sure to go down in the description of this video and click on my Discord link guys, because once you join my Discord, you can find this Season 8 Boost Pack, and this is what we're gonna work with today. It's super, super easy, but by the way, over 41,000 active members there, so if you have any questions, there's 100% gonna be some people who can help you. And yeah guys, once you get this Season 8 Boost Pack on your PC, just simply double click onto it and open it up, and once we're in here guys, we can see first of all stretch resolutions, and this is gonna be like the first part about this video. We're just simply gonna open this file guys, and now you can see that I pretty much applied all of the best stretch resolutions out there on the market. We have something like 640 times 480 for like really low end PCs, up to something like 1722 times 1070 or like 1750 times 1080. You know, like all of the most popular stretch resolutions already fully applied in your game user settings. And those game user settings are also fully optimized already for the best performance out there in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. You don't have to do a single thing for yourself guys, I already applied everything here fully entirely. So therefore let's just say you want to check out like maybe some of these stretch resolutions and you don't want to always like change it manually here on your PC. You can just simply do it and let's just say you want to revert those settings guys, I also put in like the native resolution which would be 1920 times 1080 so you're just getting like the best game user settings in Chapter 2 Season 8 with like all of the improvements which are already applied applied here guys but you're still running like normal native 1920 times 1080 just in case you know if you don't like these stretch resolutions as mentioned and yeah I also added 1811 times 1080 which is one which I just tried out like yesterday and I gotta say this is like a really nice stretch resolution and also from like yesterday's video we got 1630 times 1070 which is also really really good in my opinion so let's just say we want to quickly apply like one of these stretch resolutions here guys we're gonna go for 1811 times 1080 we're just simply gonna open it up and then we can already see our game user settings what we're now gonna do is right click onto it or just simply like um, press ctrl and c and copy it here actually on your desktop guys like don't use the one in your files you know so this is like always like your stock file because i think it's like kind of cool to actually have like all those resolutions just like here as a preset on your pc yeah so just simply copy it here on your desktop and once we're in here in this um windows search bar still we're just gonna type in presenter temp presenter and press enter real quick and then we're gonna click onto local press f on our keyboard until we found fortnite game saved config windows client and there we can see our current game user settings and what we're gonna do now is right click onto it and just simply delete it you know like we still have like a native one and pretty much the best one already on our pc and now we're just gonna drag this copy into here guys and yeah we can also like open it and double check real quick if it is also properly applied but yeah i went through each and every one like multiple times to make sure that it's also applied 100 percent and you can see it here resolution size x and y we got 1811 times 1080 and the same also for the last user comfort resolution size x and y so everything is applied here properly guys and what i would recommend you real quick to actually do is right click onto it go into properties and also put here the check actually under attribute read only and press apply and press ok with this way you're just gonna make sure that you don't change it accidentally once you're like in fortnite itself you know guys and yeah now you applied this resolution properly without really having to change anything here too much or going like through all the struggle of changing it manually and yeah if you want to try out maybe like another switch resolution you can just simply like go in here you know copy those game user settings again paste them on your screen and now you get like a game user settings with 1630 times 1070 replace it again and boom it's that easy and just a quick reminder guys i'm super active on my twitter every single day so please make sure to follow me on twitter you can find my twitter link in the description guys and will have my so so much and let's continue with the video and then next up guys we also have a file here with the best nvidia low latency driver this of course only applies for nvidia users guys out there so yeah just simply open it up go into drivers and there you can see already a link here to the latest driver where i already did a full-on video about just simply go into your browser paste it in here guys open it up 
And then you can already see it here on the official Nvidia site. You can see here the driver is 466.11. You're just gonna go here onto download now and download it. And once you download it on your PC, guys, you're just gonna go through the whole entire installation process. As mentioned, I have like a full on video, which I'm gonna put right now here on screen, guys. You can watch it afterwards if you wanna get like a full on guide on how to properly replace your Nvidia drivers. And yeah, with that said, we're already done here with this step as well. And yeah, guys, in the next step, we're gonna take a look at Memtest. And this is by far probably like the most efficient program while gaming. And yeah, you just simply double click on it, open it up and drag the Memtest exit onto your desktop, guys. And this program has so many features, it's actually crazy. We first of all, we're gonna double click onto it, of course, guys. It's gonna tell you like, yo, welcome your user, blah, 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 and all the stuff, boys. And what we can do with this program is really, really nice, guys. Let's just say we have like eight or 16 gigs of RAM, and we just wanna make sure that our RAM is working without any issues on our Windows PC. We can type in here a number up until 2000 megabytes of RAM and check it just simply for any issues or errors. And if there are any errors actually here, with our RAM guys, this program is automatically gonna fix it entirely. It literally says that your computer's RAM will now be tested. If any problems are found, you will be notified. And yeah, it's also gonna like automatically um, fix them. And you can see it's just working in the background guys. And I would just recommend you simply to do it like with a small percentage of your RAM every like once and then because it's just gonna check like your whole entire RAM for functionality. Two gigs are actually already enough because yeah, it can tell if there's like anything slowing down your RAM or not. And this is definitely something I would do like every few weeks in the background just to make sure that everything is working properly. And yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here as well. It's just gonna work here until it reach 100% guys. And it's gonna tell you then if your RAM is fine or not. And if there are any issues as mentioned, it's gonna automatically fix them. So guys, and for the next part of the video guys, we're gonna take a look at quick CPU. And since there are so many new people here on my channel, I'm just gonna show this program once again because it's so amazing. And what you just simply wanna do is right click onto it and actually extract everything in this file here onto your PC guys, which I already did here in the background. So I'm just gonna go here through the installation process, just simply double click on the exit guys. And you can see a welcome to the quick CPU x64 setup wizard. We're just gonna click on the next, agree of course guys, plus next, next and install. And it's not gonna take like way too long guys. It's just gonna install this program here on your PC actually real quick. So, and we're already done here. It says here completed the quick CPU x64 setup wizard. And yeah, it already says here launch quick CPU. So we're just gonna click onto finish guys. And this program is gonna launch in the background. And what this program does is absolutely insane guys because it makes sure that actually our CPU is running at 100%. We can of course also do here a software update guys, but this version is just working perfectly fine. So therefore, yeah, we're chilling here. And as you can see on the top right guys, there are so many people who have part cores actually. It's crazy. I've seen so, so many people who have like a 16 thread or 16 core CPU, just as me right now here, a Ryzen 7 3700X. And they have like eight cores part guys. You, you're losing so much performance. It's crazy. Like 50% of your performance of your CPU overall, if you have these cores parked. And actually for some PCs, this is like pre-installed, especially Especially if you buy like pre-built PCs, then most of the time I have like a power saving efficiency mode where they try to actually like park your cores and like disable them temporary as long as you don't need them guys. And yeah, for some games they just don't get like actually started. So therefore you're running maybe Fortnite with only like half of your CPU performance. And how we can prevent this is go here on the bottom line guys and there you can see core parking. We're gonna pull it all the way here to 100%. Frequency scaling, we gotta put to 100% as well and the turbo boost to 100% as well, guys. And you can see here, everything is now maxed out completely entirely. Our CPU is running at 100%. And yeah, we're also gonna drag performance to 100% and click here on to apply, guys. And all the changes are successfully applied. This is just how we make sure that our CPU is always running at 100% and no cores are parked. And once we're in here, guys, we're also gonna click here onto maximum performance. And then we can see now energy performance, maximum turbo boost settings enabled and everything, guys. Just all the good stuff. We gotta click onto accept and it's also applied here successfully 100%. And this is just how we make sure that our CPU is actually, actually running and this is just how we make sure that our CPU is running at the max frequency. As you can see here, my real time frequency is above 3.6 up to like 4.2 gigahertz, which is actually perfect guys. This is like the turbo boost of Ryzen 7 3700X can do. And we can also see like all the other specs here, uh, our processor, which technology we're running, seven nanometers. Um, it's just gonna show you like pretty much everything, guys. You also see the temperatures. My CPU temperature is at 53 degrees, sometimes here 60. This is totally fine, guys. It's always like jumping here around like 50 to 60 degrees. Completely fine, our CPU speed. And yeah, as mentioned, we got all the good stuff here. 
And as mentioned, if you have any issues with your CPU, this program will also fix them automatically, guys. And yeah, once we're in here, guys, we're just gonna close it because we already applied everything correctly. And just to double check that it also applied the right power plan, guys, because this is super important, we're gonna go into our Windows search bar and just simply type in energy until we find edit power plan, guys. And once we open up this window here, guys, we're just gonna click onto power options, which is like one back. And there we can see already quick CPU theme is available, guys. And it says here that it automatically balances performance with energy consumption but we just changed the whole entire quick CPU power plan to max performance so therefore this is just the right one you have to apply in the first place and yeah if you double check that and it's actually applied to you correctly you can be sure that your CPU is running at a hundred percent and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that would say so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below and try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whatever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace